hi my dear students in this session we are discussing about the benefits benefits of accounting standards in this session we are discussing about the benefits of the accounting standards here once again we are discussing this session by recalling the meaning of accounting standards what is meant by accounting standards is nothing but accounting standards is the statements of code of practices of the accounting bodies issued by the accounting bodies are to be observed in the preparation and presentation of the financial statements see this is the meaning of accounting standards accounting standards is nothing but it is a set of principles rules and regulations then now we are discussing the topic called as benefits of accounting standards what are the benefits of the accounting standards to the india means how the domestic countries has enjoying the benefits of the accounting standards here the benefits of the accounting standards listed below what are the benefits means the first one is to improve the creditability to improve the creditability and the reliability of the financial statement improve the creditability and reliability of the financial statements is nothing but all the financial statements such as income statement and a position statement such as income statement and position statements are used with different group of users for sound economic decisions such as those shareholders suppliers trade creditors customers tax authorities different persons those persons what we called as the external users of the business organizations information therefore the financial statement should present a fair accurate picture of financial position and progress of the enterprises why because some organizations in some situations whether the organization presenting or disclosing the right information or not it is very very essential each and every financial statement must and should show the right and correct information so the accounting standard helps the organizations whether they are properly following the rules and regulations or not this is the major point we have to be focusing on the accounting standards gives us a guidelines and a set of rules and regulations accounting policies accounting procedures accounting conventions for the easy preparation of financial statements therefore it improves the creditability what is meant by creditability creditability is nothing but it is a state of belief the believeness is created by the accounting standards so with the help of accounting standard we are able to improve our creditability and the reliable information is given reliable information is given regarding the financial statement how the reliability will be placed means how much money is invested by the uh, investors those investors in invested money will be how they are using how the funds they are using either they are using the short term funds or they are using the long term funds how they are utilizing the assets how they are maintaining the methods for the preparation of the books of accounts each and every information they clearly given only 1 rupee also they given their records therefore each and every vouchers books of accounts and each and every financial statements gives a reliable financial information regarding the items of balance sheet and the profit and loss account therefore it improves the creditability and the reliability of the financial statement andre illi financial statements enirutte so illi namma ondu financial information na different authorities different associations different organizations en martta hoguttappa ante andre even the financial information basis alla avaru en martta hogutare for example 
ಶೇರ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಶೇರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಶೇರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಅಕೌಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಅಕೌಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಯೂನಿಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಅಕೌಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಯೂನಿಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಅಕೌಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಸಿಚುಯೇಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಗುಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ರೆಪ್ಯುಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಶೇರ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟ್ರೇಡ್ ಕ್ರೆಡಿಟರ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಗಿವನ್ ದಿ ಕ್ರೆಡಿಟ್ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಥಾರಿಟೀಸ್ ದೇ ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಈಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಫೈನಾನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ಸ್ based on the accounting standards therefore accounting standards act as a principles how we have to be preparing the financial statements and also the financial statements should gives the progress report about the enterprises it gives a progress report regarding the enterprises how enterprises is achieving their objectives whether it may be profit objective or it may be any objective of the organization will be gives a clear picture to the shareholders and the stakeholders of the organization this is the first benefit of accounting standard and the second benefit of accounting standard here the second benefit of accounting standard it is benefited to accountants and auditor it is benefited to accountants and auditor so how it will be benefited to the accountants and auditor means accounting profession realize that it is needed to know what accounting standards are the prevail this accounting standards beneficial to the business enterprises as well as the accountants and auditor means what happens here accounting and auditing is both are the professions of the commerce people therefore accounting profession realizes that the accountants and auditors must and should have a knowledge of accounting standards why because accountant must and should have the accounting standards knowledge because they are the persons who preparing the final accounts of the organization therefore they must and should need to know about the knowledge of the accounting standards and the auditors auditors also must and should possess the knowledge of the accounting standard why because auditors are the person who verifying the books of accounts in that situation what happening here because of accounting standards only they preparing the books of accounts means the auditors must and should have a knowledge of accounting standards without knowing the accounting standards auditor cannot do his auditing process therefore the knowledge of accounting and the knowledge of auditing based on the accounting standards only without knowing the accounting standards it does not move up on the process of verification and the validation therefore it is very very benefited to the accounting standard each and every situation accountants they looking down how it will be comes how it will be treated means they are referring with the accounting standards yavaga navu av ond standards for example assets assets na debit side act record martta idi liability na credit side act record martta idi what is the debit and what is the credit and what is the financial statement how we have to be balancing how we have to be balancing each and every items they gives the references in the accounting standards therefore auditors and accountants they feel that it is a benefit for us to have a accounting standards and the third benefit here determining the third benefit here determining the managerial accountability accounting standards facilitate in determining specific corporate accountability and regulation of 
the company and thus help in measuring the effectiveness of management stepwards means what happens here accounting standards they verifying they determining they deciding about the managerial abilities means what happens here the accounting standards gives a clear and accurate information about the preparation of each and every item of a balance sheet andre pratiyondu balance sheet na profit and loss account na items na navilli yavudralli reference thagondu prepare maartta idivi ant helidre so accounting standards na reference thagolta idivi yavaga accounting standards na naavu reference thagolta hogtivo aga yenagutte the managerial ability also increases then it determines the accounting standards determines the managerial accountability also it helps us to take the right decisions also yavaga now accounting information on a proper age correct age exact information na record marirthuvo in that situation what happens here the management also take the right decisions and the fourth benefit here fourth benefit here reform in accounting theory and practices see what happens here the financial reporting objectives and substantiated evidence on accounting practices and useful of accounting data this encourages the emerging intelligence of accounting to develop the accounting theories to improve existing practices or to rectify their facts see what it means what it means here the reform in accounting theory and practices means each and every innovations each and every financial reporting objectives it is based on the accounting standards only so the accounting standards gives an idea or the opportunity to improve their creative ideas emerging new trends in the accounting theories so that purpose it helps us to improve the accounting theories and also to improve the accounting softwares also this is the benefit given by the accounting standards after that next concept we are moving here next concept we are moving here standard setting in india next here standard setting in india how in india they are setting the standards namma ond india dalli yav rithiyagi standards anna nav set maartta hogtivi here in india the standard setting bodies which are in practice is the national regulations which have the legal authority to set up the rules and regulations in financial sector andre artha madkoli ee ond india dalli so accounting standards na rules and regulations na set maduvanta authority yavu yavu kidiya appa ant helidre there is a four authorities they are formulating there is a four authorities they are formulating the responsible to set up the accounting standard here the first one is institute of chartered accountants of india the first one is Institute of Chartered Accountants of India (ICAI), Institute of Chartered Accountants of India (ICAI), and Accounting Standards and SEBI, Accounting Standards and SEBI, and Accounting Standard and Income Tax (1961), Accounting Standard and Income Tax (1961), and Accounting Standard and Company Law. these four are the major options they issue in the accounting standards the first one is the icai and the second one is the sebi and the third one is the income tax authorities fourth one is the company law rules and regulations these four bodies they held responsible for setting up the accounting standards and next we are moving the accounting standards next we are moving the accounting standards issued by the icai list of accounting standards issued by icai 
what are the different list of accounting standards issued by the icai totally icai they issuing the 32 accounting standards they issuing the 32 accounting standards the first accounting standard is disclosure of accounting policies the first accounting standard is disclosure of accounting policies second one is the accounting standard 2 valuation of inventories third one is the accounting standard 3 cash flow statements fourth one is the accounting standard 4 contingencies and events accounting standard 5 net profit or loss for the period prior period items and changes in accounting policies accounting standard 6 depreciation accounting accounting standard 7 construction contracts accounting standard 8 accounting for research and development accounting standard 9 revenue recognition accounting standard 10 accounting for fixed assets accounting standard 11 the effect of changes in foreign exchange rates accounting standard 12 accounting for government grants accounting standard 13 accounting for investment accounting standard 14 accounting for amalgamation accounting standard 15 employee benefits accounting standard 16 borrowing cost accounting standard 17 segment reporting accounting standard 18 related party disclosure accounting standard 19 leases accounting standard 20 earning per share accounting standard 21 consolidated financial statement and accounting standard 22 accounting for taxes and income and the accounting standard 23 accounting for investment in associates in consolidated financial statements and the accounting standard 24 discontinuing operations then accounting standard 25 interim financial reporting and the accounting standard 26 intangible assets and the accounting standard 27 financial reporting of interest in joint venture and the accounting standard 28 impairment of assets and the accounting standard 29 provisions contingent liabilities and uh, contingent assets and the accounting standard 30 is financial instruments among these the three is uh, divided first one is the recognition and measurement second one is the presentation accounting standard 31 and the last one is the accounting standard 32 financial instrument disclosures these are all the accounting standards issued by the icai so e accounting standards and here 14 marks ke keltare just to new accounting standards the name na alli mention madbekagirutte there is no explanation no meanings given so therefore idanna next class alli now pratiyondunu saha adanna adirde adanta ondu schedule alli adirde adanta ondu standards nimge bartta hogutte aa standards alli exact meaning anna na tilkolta hogtivi idr mele kelavondu standards mele namge problems irutte